Hi Girl Scouts! My name is Betsy Nichols. I'm a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work in our Duluth office out of Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part one of four for the junior Think Like an Engineer journey. Today I will be guiding you through the first design challenge of the journey, which is building a paper structure that will support weight. So let's start off first with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Awesome. So, this first design challenge just needs a couple supplies. We are looking for some masking tape or duct tape, a couple sheets of newspaper, maybe eight, um, four or five heavy books, a piece of cardboard, a ruler, and some paper and pencils. So I'm going to round up the supplies. I don't know if I will get all of this stuff, and it's okay if you don't either. This list is just a suggestion. Um, this is all about being an engineer. Is We call it the creative process. And if you do not have these exact materials at home, you can still do this design challenge. So I'm going to see what I can find, and I hope you do too, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm at my kitchen table, and this is what I was able to round up. So I didn't have any newspaper, so I have plain white printer paper. I have my scissors. I didn't have any duct tape or masking tape, so I have a little roll of washi tape. I have my ruler and I have my cardboard. Then over here, I got my books. So my challenge for you is while you are building these structures, try to make it at least eight inches in height. And if you don't have a ruler to measure out eight inches, if you hold up your piece of paper, if you have any paper um, at home, if you hold it up um, like a landscape, so this is, the long way is portrait, the short way is landscape. So if you hold it up landscape, those eight edges that are going up and down, that's eight inches tall. So I am going to start experimenting with different shapes. Um, experiment along with me and then I'm going to build my structure. All right, I am back. I have made three different tubes to test the weight of the books. I have one tube that is shaped like a circle. I have one tube that is shaped like a square. And then my last one is shaped like a triangle. So I'm going to test these out one at a time. I'm going to place a piece of cardboard on top of the tube first. And then I'm going to test out a book. I'm gonna make sure, try to get things as, try to get things as centered as possible. So, there we go. All right, and then the book. Okay, so that was the circle. That's okay. Next, let's try the square. Put the square in place. Get the on top. Okay, and then the book. All right. Didn't support, the square didn't support the book. Now let's test the triangle. Okay. So we got the cardboard, we got the book. Oh, okay. So that didn't work either. Okay, so those tests didn't go exactly um, how I would have liked them to, and that's okay. That's part of being an engineer. That is um, 
testing and testing and testing until you get the results that you want. So these are my old, these are the ones that I tested first. And I'm going to test a theory. So each of them are only one piece of paper thick. I am going to make another model of each one and I'm going to make it two pieces of paper thick. And we'll see if that produces better results. Okay, I am back and I have my three new cylinders to test. I have my circle, my square, and my triangle. So let's go ahead and test these one at a time to see how much weight they can bear. We're gonna start off with the circle. Put our cardboard in place. Okay, here is the first book. Very exciting. Here is, we're gonna add another one. That's also exciting. And let's try to add a third one. Okay, so that was the circle. We got three books on top of that. I'm going to reset and let's give the square a try. So here's our square. I have my cardboard. It's hard to make sure that it's center, but we gotta get that as good as we can. All right, so here's the first book going into place. Do a second one. Love it. Number three. Okay, so three books for the square. Now let's move on to our final shape. We have our triangle. Triangle going into place. Cardboard sitting on top. Let's move that just a little bit. Okay, book number one. Beautiful. Book number two, looking great. Book number three. Okay, so we got a couple books out of that one too. All right, so that was our initial testing round. If we were doing this together, I would have loved to have seen how your testing went, but we are going to carry on and work on building our final structure. So I'm going to take a moment to build mine. Why don't you go take a moment to build yours as well, and we will meet back for the final test. I am back. I have my final structure. I know I went through a lot of paper while I was testing, but I did limit myself to eight sheets of paper like the supply list suggested. So I made four different triangles and taped them together. Looks like a wheel missing some chunks. So I'm going to get this in position and see if it will hold all of four of my books. So we got cardboard, Book number one, book number two, let's go in for a third one, and we'll go in for the fourth and final book. Hey, not too bad! All right, let's recap what we just did. We were tasked with building a structure that would support the weight of multiple books. We then gathered our supplies, did some rounds of testing, and then we designed and built our final model. Maybe the tests that you did went differently from mine, and that's okay. We were all working with different supplies, so it's entirely possible that we would all get different results. But what we all did today was think like engineers. 
Engineers are creative people who use their brains to think of new solutions to problems. And that's what we will be doing for the rest of our journey. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And let's end it with make new friends and a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Good night, Girl Scouts.